when we think about it classically, we think about the peacock has its tails, birds have their songs. We've seen planet earth with those fancy <laughs> dances. And obviously we now know that consumerism is not the way to get there. What in your mind is the better trait to display as we're working on improving ourselves? What I've noticed with my undergrads lately is that they've really been failed by K through 12 public education in that they really don't know a lot about the world. They really don't know basics of like geography and history and culture and um, ideas and philosophy and science and so forth. So it's not that you have to become kind of a walking Wikipedia to succeed on a first date, but you should have some idea what's going on around you in the world and society and culture. And a lot of guys don't spend enough time doing that, you know, thinking, hey, maybe I should like subscribe to The Economist and like read it for an hour a week, in which case you'll know more than 95 percent of guys about the state of the world. Um, so I think general knowledge is a great way to show off intelligence and learning and just engagement with the world. Um, I think I'm not a great dancer, but actually being able to dance is really valuable. A lot of women love to go dancing and love men to take them dancing. And a lot of guys suck at it and never even try. And they should do like a little Napoleon dynamite and like practice in their room for a bit and at least get decent at that. And that'll go a long way. You know, you're mentioning to learn the dance. It's to be willing to dance, to be willing to put yourself out there and allow the music to move you in a way that allow, to let you feel good. That's certainly enough to get the girls uh, giggling and want to be out there with you. Exactly. And that's, you know, it's funny you, you should mention dancing because yeah. one of the things we do on our boot camps here in L.A. is on Friday night, we take our clients out and on the guy group programs, they dance, four of them dance in what we call a diamond. And it's not about actually having rhythm and it's not about being this tremendous dancer to your point earlier about being the professional, but it's the unabashed, not caring mm -hmm. how you are perceived and allowing yourself to have fun in the moment that women pick up on and are drawn to. And sometimes the most awkward, weird dances that you would think, oh, these are no way would that attract someone to, to, jan to dance with them actually draw in people because it allows everyone else to let loose a little bit and not take themselves so seriously. Yeah. And dance is a funny thing because women basically read your attitude as a dancer as being kind of a proxy for how you'll be in bed. Right. So can you, can you be in your body and have fun with your body? Like you don't necessarily need perfect rhythm or a lot of different moves or like doing your shuffle dancing or break dancing or tutting or whatever you're doing, but you just need to be comfortable as a person and not take yourself too seriously, have a sense of humor about it because sex is kind of ridiculous and there are funny moments in sex. So if you can be the guy who's willing to kind of get out of your head and into your body and women can see that, then they'll kind of read that as, Oh, he, you know, he'd be fun in bed. Um, and, and we've been probably dancing for at least 100,000 years as a species. So it's it's a pretty primal thing. Now let's talk to that guy or girl who is struggling in these areas, in these traits. And, you know, we've talked a lot about, obviously, the influence of media steering us off course. What advice can we give someone who's identified, okay, I need to improve these traits. How can we do that? There's so much information out there, right? And it's so easy to access, but a lot of it's wrong. This is one of my professional gripes as a psychology professor is literally about 70 or 80% of the psychology that's presented to the public through magazines and news media is, is wrong and literally wrong. And we know it's wrong and we've known it's wrong for 20 or 30 years. So it's really hard to find the good information. Um, I think what you need to do is figure out what specific thing do I want to work on? You can't just go, uh, my life's a mess. I need to get my shit together. Um, I need to level up in some generic way. No, you need to do th something specific, like ask women, you know, what is my weak spot? What is the, like the one thing that I need to fix before anything else? You probably don't know what that weak spot is. 
So you need some radically honest friends to tell you. And then you need, you'll, you'll be depressed. You will be sad. You, you'll need to sit with that for a minute and then figure out, okay, like, what do I do about that? Maybe you dress terribly and you have no understanding of clothing. And, and people point that out to you, like your shoes suck and nothing you wear fits. Then, okay, you need to learn about that. And you need to um, go on YouTube and watch some videos about it and read, read the right books and, um, and take advice. Or maybe somebody says, your sense of humor sucks and you make too many puns and you don't tell enough funny stories. And then, you know, you need to do things like watch some stand up comedy and pay really close attention to like, how long does a joke take? How is the pacing? How, how's the delivery? Um, when does the, the comedian pause? When do they speed up? And then just practice that stuff on your friends. You don't even, need to restrict it to to sort of dating practice.